as I got older, uh, maybe nine or ten, uh, Nick Goulas let me start selling the wrestling programs and then at about twelve he let me uh, take up tickets on the front door. That's where I met Luthez. I guess from that meeting on I was really, really impressed. Um, because Lou had a aura about him that when he walked in um, you just knew he was somebody important and uh, so you know that memory jumps out at me who was your favorite opponent as a wrestler oh uh, I, I loved Luthez uh, he was always nice to me and gave me way too much in the match and, and uh, Danny Hodge uh, I think these guys knew how much I respected their real wrestling ability and because I had you know, my rite of passage was through Sailor Moran. I think they respected that because they knew uh, Sailor was about like Stu was <laughs> for you guys in Canada. I mean, he was the saddest and, and uh, he would really test you. Right. And, and so I liked uh, they are my two favorites. Luthez, for some reason, got real stiff with Dory Funk and in Memphis. And uh, Lou would have a thing where they would lock up and then he'd turn his back to his opponent, lean against the ropes and then give him an elbow and he hit Dory so hard that his eye closed shut and uh, that tested our friendship and I went to him and told him that's uncalled for I don't know what's going on but Dory's a nice guy and you have uh, I'm gonna have to think before I bring you back Lou and of course you know a couple of years went by and he called me and said I was stupid and I don't want it to interfere with our friendship. And he came back in and he was really responsible in great part for my success when I went to Atlanta to book for Jim Barnett. Lou came down and really, really went above and beyond to help me be successful there. Would he have been one of the highest paid wrestlers uh, in the early days of the popularity of wrestling, like around from the 50s to the 80s? Yeah, well, all of the uh, world champions that came in, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with way before your time, Whipper Watson, Oh, yeah, I used to be uh, in Toronto all the time. Yeah, yeah he, he, uh, uh, I, I, he came into Memphis and Luthez and Dory Funk and Harley Race. And you always paid the champion uh, real well, 15% of the gross, gross house. So, you know, in Memphis we were drawing seven, eight, ten thousand people.